What's up you guys, this is Jayunga2 back with another video and in this video today, if you saw the title then of course we're going to be discussing the Philadelphia 76ers even though I'm a little late on this topic as we all know in these last two games for the Philadelphia 76ers well we've seen a lot of things differently for this team compared to in the past and now having James Harden on their roster opens up a variety of opportunities for the Philadelphia 76ers now. So I really thought that it may take these two guys a little bit to adjust to each other, but James Harden has already been playing like he's been on this team for a, a decade already. That's how good of a player he's been playing for this 76ers team. And the thing is about Harden, he's actually done this throughout his entire career. He's done this when he was on the Houston Rockets in his first game. He did this when he got on the Brooklyn Nets. He's done it now, of course, for the Philadelphia 76ers. James Harden is really low-key one of the smartest basketball players in the entire NBA. And we don't really talk about that much, but really in terms of IQ, I think James Harden definitely is a guy who just knows how to run a great system for a team and really implement his style of play to benefit everybody else on the basketball court because that's what he's doing right now for the 76ers. In Harden and Embiid's first two games together, they have already outscored Minnesota and New York by 46 points in 53 minutes. I'm sharing the lineup. Both of those games, they scored 134.5 points per 100 possessions of the game. That is a huge number. Of course, it's not going to stay the same forever, but that is a huge number already. And obviously, that would make them the best offensive team in the entire NBA right then and there. But, you know, I'm not done yet, of course. James Harden himself has already been averaging 28 points per game, 9 rebounds, and 14 assists per game. And he's shooting very efficiently as well from the field. He shoots 94% from the free throw line. He has a three-point percentage of 57%, which we all know is not going to stay like that forever. And he is shooting overall from the field as well around 57%. Very, very impressive numbers early on so far for James Harden, for a guy that really is becoming kind of struggling this year, of course, from the hamstring injury and just the overall dilemma facing him in Brooklyn. To help this 76ers team score more in transition and he's also helped them pick up the pace more for this team for james harden uh, the 76ers average around 4.3 fast break points per 48 minutes and with harden now in just the past two games they're up to 20 with harden on the court you know when they had ben simmons on their roster it was very differently james, even though ben simmons was a pretty good playmaker he really wasn't the level of playmaking that james harden provides for the 76ers team now you have a guy who obviously as well can spread out the floor a lot more for the 76ers team as you all know Joel Embiid said that I've never been this wide open in my entire NBA career as we all know and that has a lot to say because well Harden opens up so many opportunities for this team that we've seen already also giving guys like Tyrese and Maxey a chance to really showcase even more of his abilities scoring wise especially that we all know he's done already this season for this team and of course Tobias Harris I believe that it's going to take him a little bit more time to figure it out but for the 76ers they have shooters all around the court around them they have many guys who are great shooters and of course Matisse Thibault another guy who they're able to keep in the trade has already shown as well how still dominant he is on the defensive presence of the basketball court but just strictly talking about the duo alone of Embiid and Harden, it's going to be uh, very scary for teams, especially if trying to switch the pick and roll against both of these guys. You're basically um, picking your poison. Either you're going to have to deal with Joel Embiid basically attacking the rim or getting a wide open opportunity for three, um, getting at lobs, or you're going to have to deal with Harden's isolation and his ability to play make for still other players on the court. About those days when Harden was on the Houston Rockets, Clint Capella was really one of his go-to guys, especially when it came to lobs. Now you have that in Joel Embiid, but more. But more. And Joel Embiid, of course, this season is one of the league runners for MVP, and he's definitely been playing like it this year. 
and you know another key trait for both these guys both of these guys are really amazing at drawing free throws Harden and Embiid have drawn 36 personal fouls and shot 59 free throws already in their first two games together 46 percent of these came in the bonus and well you know you're basically picking your poison both of these guys are amazing at drawing fouls they have the ability to really dominate in their positions if they need to and now you have Harden who is going to not only be still a really good isolation player if you need him to he can be a really amazing playmaker he's even being more aware on the defensive end of the basketball court this James Harden is an engaged locked in Harden right now and you know the crazy part is you know I, you know I'm just really shocked just seeing it for crying out loud I mean I haven't never seen James Harden really being a ball off ball a lot of times until really now even putting in a little bit more effort on the defensive end now that i don't believe that's going to stay for long obviously but wow it's just really amazing to see and well this duo has already shown us that they can be one of the league's scariest pairings together and well this is really just the beginning for these two guys playing together you know the playoffs are obviously around the corner and they're gonna have to develop this chemistry pretty quickly and well already they have and well the guys around them on their court are benefiting from them and their play so you know this trade you know before i was really questioning and believing that well the 76ers i don't believe that they're really going to make the nba finals this year but now looking at the way harden has already just come in and really just play at the level he's playing at already there's no doubt in my mind that this 76ers team will definitely probably make it to the nba finals this season they definitely look like one of the favorites already in just two games and that's a lot to say for just two games but well this is what's happening and well we still got many many more games stuff to see how solid these guys can play together but the last thing i want to say as well is you know this is why you know i really like harden's level of play on the offense end especially because he can come in and just make a team on the snap of a finger a lot better of a team and he did that for brooklyn in his time did that for the rockets obviously and helping them go to conference finals and accomplish many great things and now he has a chance to do this on the 76ers and this guy's trying to you know get that ring who's gonna blame him and well he has this opportunity now for the 76ers to do so but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos and what do you think about harden and now him being on the 76ers peace